uh, to the last of the pass of the Jets. Jets scored 20, score one touchdown, four red zone trips. They miss two field goals. They get penalized for 110 yards, and Rodgers ends the game with an interception uh, to Mike Williams. That was explained in detail here. <laughs> I'm looking at Allen. He puts his hand up. Three guys go with him. So I'm throwing a no look to the red line. And when I just peek my eyes back there, he's running an inbreaker. So um, it's got to be down the red line. So were you throwing that spot <coughs> to come back to it? No, I was throwing it to the red line. But when I got to about here, I realized he was running an inbreaker. So I had to kind of adjust it a little bit. But the play is two guys vertical, one guy down the seam, one guy on the red line. That's just bro. I got to be honest, this morning when I saw that, I was bothered by it. I was like, this is the same old Aaron Rodgers You've throwing changed. his receivers under the bus and not taking accountability. Now that they've got Devontae Adams, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Mike Williams, as you said, is about to be gone, okay? Aaron Rodgers is, we know what Aaron Rodgers is. They knew what he, this has been his career, throwing receivers under the bus, not taking accountability. So the Jets knew that when he walked in the door. What a take. I'm serious. I don't care <laughs> now. You, you think he Now can... I think it's like, first of all, he, now he said on the McAfee show he didn't find out about the trade till afterwards, but he obviously <laughs> knew it must have been a great chance for it to happen. <laughs> yeah. So he may have known, he may be 85% sure at that point that I'm about to get my man. I'm about to get Devontae so, out. I mean, I can't. So I, I, do, I do not. Mike Williams yeah, doesn't so, way out. It's, because it's, he doesn't look, want to be blamed. You know what it is? I, it's, you know no, what it is? Because he's a bad guy. That's fine. I don't but care. I don't you, need a choir boy. I need somebody to win games. No, I can't do I, I'm you, serious. You, and I'm, I'm just, what I'm saying is <laughs> I think what he did, what he's doing is holding people accountable. Except Again, for himself. Well, I think he's admitted sometimes when he's played poorly. What about okay. that? Wasn't the whole press conference. No. If you watch the whole no, press what, conference, okay. he admitted he wasn't, you know, yeah. prime Aaron Rodgers. I mean, I just. Can't but my run. point is, I think this is putting people on notice. Aaron Rodgers is ticked off. Aaron Rodgers didn't come here to be two and four. Aaron Rodgers he didn't, didn't come here to have better. a worse record so than Zach Wilson. Right? He needs to play better. And I think now everybody is on notice. So, okay. like I, I mean, said, I, I, is, is, is he, it, we know he's done this before. I don't like it, I, but I'm not riled up out of, about okay. this. I, I mean, but now like, I but got like you said, you Adams. were this morning. Yeah, I, I, right. I, when this was going to be the squad, this ain't the squad no more. <laughs> now you got Devontae Adams. Okay. And Garrett Wilson moves down to two. And Alex, Alex Lazar to three. No, by and the way, Mike Garrett might be Wilson, out of the door. Garrett Wilson probably moves down to three. He actually seven. leads the league in freaking targets. He's going to get his I, targets. I understand. I, I'm just telling you that I think that Rodgers is going to look for Devontae and Lazard yeah. first and back. foremost. Why? Yeah. Why has he been looking for Wilson now? Well, he, he looked for him 22 times in the Vikings right. game. Right. So, like, but again, I just just my opinion on what he's going to do, bro. I just a guy that <laughs> I we all, the, the idea that this is a way to pull a team from the abyss is this leadership style is just asinine. And Here's the most, the biggest indictment I can say about Aaron Rodgers at this point. The player and the leader. He is the anti-Patrick Mahomes. He is. Mahomes gets the ball down less than a score with a reasonable amount of time remaining. The Chiefs are going to win. Rodgers gets the ball down one to the Broncos mm -hmm. after the Broncos miss a field goal. They have First and 10 on the Denver 36 with more than a minute left. He can get them four more measly yards in that terrible weather. They miss the field goal. And then blame the kicker. And then blame the kicker. Don't get close. Like, not 20 yeah, blame the shots. kicker. Yeah. Blame, the, blame the weather. Against Minnesota, they fall down 17-0 thanks to his play. He gets the ball down six. They get the ball to the Minnesota 26. Incomplete, incomplete pick to Mike Williams. Sure, that's not Aaron's fault. Williams just went the wrong way. They get the ball against Buffalo. Down three. Let's not forget, that game should have been over because Aaron fumbled on the first play of the drive. I saw it. Troy Aikman right. saw it. The old guy who used to do the, the former guy, not old guy, but the guy who used to do the Monday Night Football refereeing stuff who now works for the Bills. We all saw it. For some reason, New York didn't see it. They get another chance. Aaron Rodgers has Brees Hall open. Aaron Rodgers' own explanation is, 
I realized Mike Williams wasn't where he needed to be. There's two minutes left in this football game. It's third down. So I threw a no look anyway instead of uh, Brees Hall's right there and then blame Mike Williams. So he doesn't come through when they need him. Mm -hmm. That's the anti-Mahomes. his career. And right, then absolutely. also throws the other guys under the bus. I watched Mahomes last year. Basically, hand a 50-yard pass to MVS. Sure. Hits him in the hands. He drops it. You know what he said? Shouldn't have thrown it that far. Shouldn't <laughs> that's have thrown that's it that far. Aaron, Aaron, he's not Aaron no. says he's the opposite. Nobody's Mahomes. But he's the opposite of it. He's not coming through in the big spots, and he's blaming the coach. He's blaming the weather. He's blaming his teammates, which is why, Brew, I'm so down. I know this is why I'm so surprised. I wasn't trying to be rude to no, you. No, 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 no. But I... I know you think leadership matters at well, that position. I'm going to address that. I'm talking about that press conference, that comment. I don't care. Mike Williams is about to be gone. Mike Williams has not played well. Neither is Aaron Rodgers. But you're gone. I got my guy in. I don't, I'm not worried about that episode. I totally agree. And you guys know. Like I said, I don't think they would, could get to the Super Bowl even when everybody was high on them because Rodgers does play poorly in championship games. But – this is why, and everybody wonders, they look at Aaron Rodgers and say he's one of the most talented quarterbacks we've ever seen, and mm. he is. All right, And he's been one of the best. Why has he only been to one Super Bowl in, what, 14, 15 yeah. healthy seasons as a starter? What you just said, it's not only the lack of, you know I'm big on intangibles. Montana, Brady, and Peyton Manning and Mahomes have tremendous intangibles. Leadership, galvanizing the locker room, taking accountability, all that. You know what else, though? I, I'm going to say a lack of ego. They have egos, but only we only know they have egos because they're so great and they're so competitive. But Aaron Rodgers, when you think about him, the first thing you think is ego. Is, is he's, you know, uh, yeah. arrogance and stuff. You don't think that about those other quarterbacks I mentioned, and that's an intangible that he lacks. And, again, I'm not saying they're about to go to the Super Bowl, but they can make the playoffs. They can have a decent season. And so I think that's what will happen now that he's back with Devontae Adams. But I agree with you on a lot of his, you know, I, I, personality okay. and stuff. I but don't, don't mean you can't win. No, uh, yeah. I just – I think that when you have fired the coach – when you've thrown teammates under the bus, when, you, uh, when everyone from the outside and the inside knows you are, you are the puppet master here and you make the most money and you take the least accountability and your team's up against it in this sport, that is a recipe for implosion, not a recipe for we're going to win eight of our next 11, which is what they got to do. Like, uh, they have to win a minimum of eight of their next 11 games, which the New York Jets have not done in a decade. And so I just, I just don't buy it, and I don't think that he is going to be the guy to pull him through. What I'm curious about is who's the next person who gets thrown under the bus. Probably Zerline. Like, I would imagine the kicker soon, and then at some point, like, I, I think Joe Douglas – is the guy. But, like, it'll it'll be everyone in the organization so other than up. Aaron. Next it'll be man, next, 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 man, up next to get man to get thrown well, under the bus up. You know what Zerline can do? Make the kick. <laughs> Bruce, you, don't kick you don't want to get kicked. You don't want to get thrown under the bus? Make the kick. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, Zerline has almost as many missed kicks as Rodgers has interceptions in the last two weeks. Fair to call the Cowboys yeah, soft. That's next on FS1, the Fox Sports Channel on Sirius XM. Last night's game, from the future of the Jets, uh, to the last the pass of the Jets. Jets score 20, score one touchdown, four red zone trips. They miss two field goals. They get penalized for 110 yards, and Rodgers ends the game with an interception uh, to Mike Williams. That was explained in detail here. <laughs> I'm looking at Allen. He puts his hand up. Three guys go with him, so I'm throwing a no look to the red line. And when I just peek my eyes back there, he's running an inbreaker. So. Um, it's got to be down the red line. So were you throwing that space <coughs> to come back to it? No, I was throwing it to the red line, but when I got to about here, I realized he was running an inbreaker, so I had to kind of adjust it a little bit. But the play is two guys vertical, one guy down the seam, one guy on the red line. That's just bro. <laughs> I got to be honest. This morning, when I saw that, I was bothered by it. I was like, this is the same old Aaron Rodgers You've throwing changed. his receivers under the bus. 
and not taking accountability